Alrighty, so I'm starting out with the foundation and I am using the color uh, medium tan. Now, as you can see, you know, this is medium tan and I'm like pale and this is actually kind of matches me. Um, it is going to be a little darker because I don't, I forgot to put my fake tan on last night after I uh, got a shower. So it's going to be a little dark for my face right now, but the reason I got this is because I do fake tan. So when I do fake tan, it'll match me. That is the color I'm using. Um, just for reference or just kind of for like to let you know, this is the second to darkest color. Okay. So if you're like medium skin toned, like medium skin tone is and even maybe a little less than medium skin tone is about the darkest this is foundation is going to get. So if you're you have darker skin, you're not even going to be able to get this, which is kind of sad. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. So I'm using a Sigma F86 to apply this because this is my usual foundation brush. Alrighty, and let's go for it. It feels like cold, if that makes sense. Like it feels very cooling. Um, it says it's medium to full coverage. I can already see it is not going to be full coverage. It is definitely like kind of just at medium coverage. It smells weird. It smells like paint or um, I don't know. I feel like I'm in a construction site if that makes sense. Like it smells like something like that. Smells don't generally bother me like this. It doesn't bother me. I'm just kind of letting you know. Um, when it comes to scents, I'm like, whatever, as long as it works, I don't really care what it smells like. All right, so there's one side of my face done. And as you can see, it's just a little bit darker than my natural skin tone right now. Um, it covers like pretty well. Um, definitely just a medium coverage. I would not say it's full coverage at all. You know what it kind of smells like? That like, okay, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so you know how you have like PVC piping, you know, those like white pipes that are like plastic and um, you know that glue that um, like that glue that comes in a little thing and you screw it off and there's like a little cotton ball looking thing on the end and it's got like a very strong chemical scent if you know what I mean this is kind of what that's this kind of smells like that it's obviously not as strong as that but that's the kind of undertone I'm getting here. All right, now since I don't have a Wet n Wild concealer and they didn't come out with one for this um, coverall thing, or at least I didn't see one, I'm just gonna use my regular concealer, which is the MAC um, Pro Longwear. And I'm just gonna set under my eyes with um, Bare Minerals Well Rested because, you know, I don't wanna put the regular face powder under my eyes. Alright, so next I'm using the powder, and this is the powder in the color medium. And, um, I'm hoping that this doesn't darken up the foundation too much, because then I'm going to look real cray today. But, you know. So it comes with a sponge thing in there, and it's a pretty good sized amount of powder. And when you feel it, it feels super, super creamy and, um, velvety to the touch. And I didn't forget to mention that this foundation, when you, when you kind of use your fingers to wipe it on, it feels very smooth and kind of, it's not, I don't want to say thick, but it feels nice and creamy and it feels a lot more high quality than you would expect from a th foundation that's $3, you know? So that's good. So this powder is $2.99 and I'm just going to lightly dust this on top to set the foundation. Now I'm not putting this on heavy enough to like expect a lot of coverage from it. I'm just using it to set the foundation. So um, yeah, you I might you know try this another time um, by itself. But um, yeah, right now I'm just kind of using it to set everything. Here's what it looks like completely done with the foundation and powder. It's definitely a medium 
medium to full coverage. After I put the powder on, it definitely covered up a little bit more, which is really nice. Um, I really like the finish. It is a definite matte finish right now, and that is something I prefer because I tend to get a little oily around my you know T-zone area, and um, so I really like the matte look because I hate looking shiny. Um, I, I like to add my own shine, if you know what I mean. So when I'm touching it, it feels very soft. Um, it doesn't feel wet, which is something I hate. That is why I use, uh, make sure I use a good powder, mattifying powder on top, because I hate the feeling of wet foundation, because then I feel like if I touch my face, I'm going to wipe it right off. So yeah, so I'm, I really like the way it looks a lot. I'm going to quickly add um, a little bronzer to contour. And this is just the Physicians Formula one that I've been using a lot lately. For blush, I am going to use Peaches from MAC. I've been loving this lately. I had it in my favorites. It's like one of my favorite blushes ever. All right, and um, there it is. Really quick, I'm gonna do some lipstick. Okay, so here it is, all finished, full face, everything. I am going to come back in a little while. Right now, as you can see, I'm watching Emily Noel on Ustream right now. It is. 10 12 right now so I am going to um, come back in a couple hours I have to take Layla to the vet I'm gonna go to the store and then I have to come back home and clean a little bit so um, I'll be you know walking around doing stuff a lot so it should you know my natural oil should be pumping today I'm not gonna sit on the couch all day so um yeah we'll see how it turns out I will see you in a couple hours all right guys so it is now uh, 1.30, so it's been almost four hours, and, um, I gotta say I'm really sad right now. I haven't looked at myself since I put it on, and I just came up here and looked in my mirror, and I don't know if you could see it in the camera, because I have natural light coming in right now, and it's a little bright, um, but it looks bad. Um, alright, so lots of oil coming through the center of my face, like, a lot. Um, also I noticed... Right here on my chin, you can see it's completely worn off on my chin, and I don't even think I touched my chin yet today. It's starting to wear off on the sides here. This is normally where my foundation first starts to wear off, right here, which is really weird. It's starting to wear off there, around my forehead, it's gone, and I don't think I touched that either. Um, you could see, like, it's kind of breaking apart right here to where it looks splotchy, like you can see my skin underneath. I don't know, I have a feeling when I come back in a couple more hours that it's gonna be like completely gone. So shiny, and I feel like my pores are huge right now because it's so shiny right there. Yeah, it's pretty sad. <sighs> oh well. All right, well I'll see you guys in a couple more hours. All right guys, so it is now been eight hours and I figured that would be a uh, good time frame. Um, I figure most people would probably go eight hours with their makeup. So yeah, it's been eight hours and this is what it looks like now. Um, compared to the last time I updated, um, I would say the oiliness hasn't gotten any worse. It's still pretty oily like it was a couple hours ago when I updated. Um, it kind of pretty much looks almost the same as it did a couple hours ago. The only thing I notice is that a little more has come off on my chin as well as around my forehead um, <clears throat> but otherwise it kind of looks the same a little bit came off right here around my nose as well <clears throat> yeah so I mean I don't know overall I think this is not something for someone with oily skin at all like I wouldn't even go for it and I think if you did have oily skin and you did want to give it a try I would recommend using I would recommend using a um, mattifying powder like this is the Maybelline dream matte powder as opposed to this powder because this powder doesn't seem to keep any oil at bay so I might you know I might wear this maybe if I wore my mattifying power powder <sighs> I'm sick <laughs> um so yeah I mean I honestly like it just because I like the way it looks after I apply it and um I don't know, I just, I still like it somehow, I don't even know why. Um, this is something I would probably wear, like, if I was only putting makeup on to maybe, like, go out to the grocery store real quick, or and if I, or going somewhere really quickly and I just kind of wanted to put something on my face, um, 
just really quickly so I wasn't completely barefaced, I would probably apply this foundation just with my fingers and rub it in. Hold on. Hi, Layla. Did you want to come say hi? I would probably just apply this with my fingers all over just to kind of even out my skin tone and just kind of have something on. I think that would be good for that. But if you're looking for something that you want to be able to go a full work day, morning to night, you know, um, and you want it to last all day, this is definitely not going to work out for you. I don't really know if it'll break you out um, because, you know, I've only worn it today so far. So maybe in the next couple days I'll find out if I have giant pimples everywhere. So yeah, I hope that um, was informative for you guys. If you have any questions, please just leave them below in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Please leave any requests below and I'll see you next time. Bye.